Hi class! I'll be your teacher for today and my name is Teacher Yana. But before anything else, let's pray first. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Father in Heaven, we are here before Thee. Help us to study well. Help us to be obedient and honest. Help us to love one another. Bless our teacher. Bless our school. Bless our country. And bring us all to heaven. Amen. In this video lesson, we will be talking about distance and displacement. But before we go to our discussion, let us have a quick short review about our last topic. What is motion? Who wants to answer? Okay, great. Motion is a change in position or location of an object over a period of time. Okay, any other definition for motion? Yes, please? Okay. Motion is always observed and measured with a point of preference. Distance and displacement together with speed, velocity, and acceleration is a part of what we call, yes, motion. Now, how are we going to define distance? Imagine that you're going to school and this will be your direction. Your point A will be your initial position and then point C will be your final position. From point A to point B, your distance is 4 meters. And then, from point B to final position, which is point C, is about 3 meters. We say that distance is the length of the entire path that an object traveled. So, if your point A to point B is 4 meters, and then from point B to point C is 3 meters, so we have distance is equals to AB plus BC. So we have 4 plus 3. And then we have 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. So our distance for this example is 7 meters. So, distance is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity has only a magnitude. And few examples of scalar quantity are length, mass, density, and so on and so forth. Now, what is displacement? Anyone? Yes, please? Okay, great. Displacement is the shortest distance between initial position and final position of an object in a given direction. So this is your direction. And your initial position is point A and your last position will be point C. Other definition for displacement? Yes, please. Okay. Displacement is a vector quantity. What is a vector quantity? Vector quantity have a magnitude and direction. Example for vector quantity are weight, velocity, acceleration, and pressure, so on and so forth. We say that displacement is the shortest distance between point A to point C. In displacement, we are talking about distance between two points. So, where is our two points? Two points is this one, point A and point C. In this example, we are going to use the Pythagorean Theorem to get the displacement. Our Pythagorean Theorem formula is C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared and this is our formula and we need to substitute that. 4 squared, this will be your A. And your B will be 3 meters. 
3 squared. So, 4 squared is equals to, right, 16. Plus, 3 squared is equals to, very good, 9. So, the sum for these two, 16 plus 9 is equals to 25. And we're going to get the square root of that. What is the square root of 25? Very good. So, our displacement for this example is 5 meters. Do you get this? Okay, very good. Our next example will be this one. This is your initial position, which is the letter A. And you are going to the store, which is this one. Your initial position from point A to point B will be 5 meters. Okay? And then from point B to point C is 3 meters. And then from point C to point D is 5 meters. So what is the distance for this example? Okay. So distance will be AB plus BC plus CD. From now, your AB will be 5 meters. 5 plus, and then your BC will be 3 meters. Plus 5 meters. Then, the sum for this, our distance will be Our distance will be 5 plus 3 plus 5. Okay, very good. 13 meters. Our distance for this example is 13 meters. How about the displacement? Okay. What is displacement again? Very good. It is the shortest distance between the initial point to your final point. Now, in this example, your initial point will be this one, and then the final point will be this one. So, what is your displacement? Correct. The displacement will be 3 meters. In this example, your displacement will be 3 meters. Okay. Do you get this one? Okay, great. I will give you an assignment and for tomorrow, we have a short recitation. Okay? Is that clear? Very good. That will be all class. Thank you.